Okay, so from the EdTech Teacher iPad Summit in Boston, there are a number of things that I've got on my iPad uh, for notes that, that I thought were important. Um, I had a chance to see the Media Center at uh, MIT, um, and that was a great tour. Um, lots of interesting things in terms of programming and activities for math science, uh, if you're interested in, in incorporating that kind of stuff into the classes, both at the secondary middle and um, elementary schools. Um, the other website that I was visiting fairly often through the conference was uh, curriculum21.com and, and we had a keynote speaker who talked about the importance of not just media literacy but also digital literacy and global literacy so that we should be doing stuff that goes across the planet. Um, as part of that I want to also emphasize uh, the importance of digital portfolios where the students take charge of what it is that they want to show the world. Uh, and the digital portfolio can be something online, but it should at least be something that the students can sit down with their parents and explain what they did, how they did it, and why they did it. Um, so that's, that's going to be a big change for me, I think, probably uh, starting next year. Um, the other two things that I thought were very interesting was something called TouchCast. Uh, which has the look of video but has the feel of the web. So in a video such as this, uh, I could have a little window appear that could take you to a poll, that could take you to a website, that could take you to another video. And by touching that, you would have a link that would take you somewhere. Um, so we're going to be investigating that a little bit more. And uh, of course, augmented reality is, is something that's up and coming and we've already seen some examples of Erasmus. Um, definitely this year in the yearbook we're going to have some auras that are going to be included and uh, the media students are already starting to work on that. Um, but the whole emphasis on, on getting these things um, ready should not be the focus of the teacher. I think that what we can do is have the students start to create the content for other students and in that way they're taking charge of their learning um, and they're contributing something to the world. There it is. In a nutshell, that's what we've done.